My career has not been sort of laid out, uh, you should do this and that. Uh, I have got opportunities. I've, got, uh, um, I've been blessed by uh, leaders that have seen what I have done. And then they asked me, well, could, you, could, you could you be interested to take this position? And, um, and I, I, most of the time I, 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 I've taken that opportunity. And that is an, an advice that I also give to people. If you, uh, take the take the opportunity uh, to take an, the new position, not be not being stuck in in many years in the same position because you broaden yourself. Rotate uh, in in the organization because experience is not uh, uh, heavy to <laughs> or, or difficult to have. I mean you. And you broaden your perspective, as you say, in different parts of the organization. I have been in line position, I have been in staff position. Being in the line, then I understand more uh, of how that is when I'm in the staff and, and vice versa. That's a topic that I personally spend a lot of time on and I, 
I have coffee uh, conversations with uh, with uh, top 10 females every year, uh, following them. And I also try to uh, to be a, a good leader, as I have had good leaders, that, that I tell them, why don't you take this position? Because to have that, uh, I, I have experienced that myself, that when I, my, my boss said that you can do that job, that gave me sort of that push. When other people tell me that I can do that job, I'm, I'm, I'm not so hesitant to do it because I feel that I have support from the people wanting to, to, for me to take that job. So I like to try to, 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 to do that myself. I would start with the climate. We have to we have to start acting, uh, not only setting ambitions, but act, uh, and, and and that's uh, on the top of uh, my agenda when it comes to uh, to making the, the the game change for for aluminium. Uh, but we are in a geopolitical situation which is very uh, difficult at the moment, and uh, for a company and for a CEO like like me, uh, you, you really have to uh, to to. Uh, to address the risks and see how can we position ourselves, how can we maneuver. And I think that uh, in this sense, uh, the, the new leadership is also about partnership, to partner and to see how we can, how we can make systemic shift in the, in the value chains to, uh, to, to, to make, uh, make us ourselves more robust and resilient uh, in, in terms of not being uh, cornered in the, in the sense of something being too dependent on on one sources, for example. It's vital to shift away from a sense of climate doom because that's disempowering and just leaves us, I think, possibly paralyzed by fear, but also by the complexity of the situation. Electricity generation has passed a tipping point where renewable energy, solar or wind power is the cheapest form of power generation now in most of the world and the uptake of solar and wind power is exponential in terms of the amount deployed doubling pretty much every year or two. And that will tell you immediately that if it doubles to 20% and then to 40%, it won't be, it'll only be a few years' time before 2030, I think, that the market will be dominated by EVs. As we push towards 100% renewable electricity, we, we have to match electricity supply and demand. When you put on the kettle, isn't always when the sun's shining or the wind's blowing. So we need cheap storage of electricity and cheap batteries is a really key form of that. So these two tipping points are reinforcing each other. And that's just one example of how things couple across sectors in reinforcing ways. Ammonia is crucial for fertilizer, but it also offers potential as an energy carrier and as a fuel, for example, for big ships um, in the ocean. Why is there a super leverage point there? Well, because there's a first market for green ammonia, and that happens to be the fertilizer, because the price of fossil fueled fertilizer is sky high ever since the war in Ukraine. Whilst it may not look like we're progressing very fast, if you understand the laws of exponential change and doubling and doubling and doubling and doubling of action, we do really have a chance to accelerate out of trouble. Mm -hmm.